Hey everybody, this is Andrew Hendricks, and today we're going to work on the introduction to Atlantic City by the band. In tribute to Lee Von Helm, today I'm going to be playing my 1920s Gibson F4. Now this mandolin is pretty quiet. It's definitely not a banjo killer, but it has a really warm, mellow sound. Alright, let's get started. Okay, now this starts with a simple double stop, which is our third finger on the seventh fret of the A string and our second finger on the fifth fret of the E. Now this double stop is just the fifth and the root of an A chord. Then we're going to take both fing uh, fingers off the mandolin and play just the open A and the E. Now the rhythm is just down, up, down for the first part of this phrase. So it's then open, now we're going to take our second finger and we're going to slide from the second fret up to the fourth, hitting both the A and the E strings. So we have. And we go back down to the second fret and hit the A and the E. So. And now the last part of the phrase is just a downstroke of the open A and the E, that interval of a perfect fifth. So we have. Now the chord groove starts here with your third finger on the sixth fret of the G string, your second finger on the fourth fret of the D, open A string, and your first finger on the second fret of the E. Now we're going to play three consecutive downstrokes. Now for the E, we're going to take our second finger, we're going to move it up to the second fret of the D, keeping our third finger on the sixth fret of the G. So we have this chord, chord works really well with those open A and E strings. So we have six, two, open, open. Now we're going to strum this five times. So we have so three strums of the F sharp minor and five strums of the A voicing. Now we're going to take our third finger and slide it up a half step up to the seventh fret of the G string and bring our, our first finger to the fourth fret of the D for a D9 chord. And we're going to strum that for three beats. And then we're going to bring our, go back to that original A position for another five strums. So you have. repeats back to the F sharp minor, then it goes to the D, and back to the A, but this final A has a pretty cool fill, which is um, keeping that A position, we're just going to take our second finger and we're going to hammer on from the fourth to sixth fret uh, of the low G string. So we have... Alright guys, good luck with this. See you next time.